Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show y'all all them papers I got to do. Um, <laughs> I done got food on the doggone paper, so I'm going to have to redo those. But um, I think that's just the top branch, so I hope. I hope. Yeah, that's the top branch. Um, but I got my work cut out for me. Um, also, I need to uh, tidy up my home. I've been trying to make room and space for what I'm doing now and what and projecting and pushing out what I want for the new year. Um, and keeping my fast up to date, things like that. Um, I also, um, have come to the realization and understand that you have to be very careful who you put in your life. If you can see some things that happen negatively to you or positively to you, it's always dealing with a person. It's always dealing with the person, okay? Because that's how God operates. That's how the spiritual realm operates. It has to have connection, connection with the human being because we have domain. We have rule, rulership and domain in this area. That is one of the things where... Like I said, um, I'm not really afraid of people are like, oh, yeah, well, you, you might get tormented. And they always talk about spirituality and things like that. But they don't. If you understand the 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 bylaws and, and the, the guidelines of um, the spiritual realm and the physical realm, then you would know that you have rulership and domain in this realm. It's only when you step out of boundaries that when you um, you end up um, losing, you know, think about someone who you are trying to, who's trying to get you or trying to come for you or come for, come for your self-esteem. They're always trying to pull you out of a lane that you don't know, something that you are weak in. They're always trying to go after your weakness. They're not going to come after your strength because they know that where your strength is, there is where your power lies, you know, and that's the same thing with the spiritual realm, you know, um, if you, in the physical and the spiritual realm, if you step out and you go straight into the spiritual realm without uh, remember the bylaws of the physical realm, you can you can lose battles. Um, same same instance if if uh, the spiritual realm is trying to um, do something in the physical realm and they don't have access to that, they need um, they need connection. You know that's just like another way to say that is you know the analogy they talk about who would win would the alligator win who would you know kill off each other you know um the alligator or the lion and people are looking like what and some people will say the lion and some people will say the alligator because the alligator is gonna twist just you know and and devour is 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 uh it's prey some people think the lion because he's very uh wise you know lions are very prayful they'll watch and then they'll pounce they'll watch your activities and they're very strong but the true answer is it depends on where the fight starts at. If the fight is in water, guess what? The alligator has the advantage. But if it's on land, that lion has the advantage. So that's the same way we deal with things that happen in the physical as well as the spiritual. You know, And if you understand those bylaws, a lot of people will be a lot more successful. And you'll understand what you're partnering with. You know, Whatever you're partnering with and in... in in, in the spiritual, you, it's going to come out in the physical. Whoever you're partnering in the physical, if they're partnering with something that um, that is in the spiritual, it connects to you. So you have to be careful who and what you are connecting to at this time. Um, I can't even express that the most. Um, I, as I started dissecting, because I've always go through this period of um, purging and people, some people don't understand that, but I, I noticed that as I get closer in my walk as finding as spirituality and who and what I am and what I want to be and what I'm called to be and 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 what I desire on the earth I noticed that that purging is necessary to get better because the more you start getting um getting more attuned to yourself the more you'll start understanding um what you don't need and some of the things you need to work on to be better or some of the things you need to work on and advance in so, um, and that, that deals with people, people, you don't understand that a lot, but if you look at the people who you surround yourself with, you will see some of your interactions. One of the things I noticed is that 
I was gaining some weight. And I'm like, how is this even possible? Like, I'm exercising, but I noticed that I was spending more time with some of my some of the people that I know. Um, because I'm very careful about saying that F word, friends and foes. I'm be very careful about that because sometimes foes look like friends and friends look like foes. Gotta evaluate. But anywho, um, I started noticing that I was around people who had unhealthy eating habits and unhealthy living, you know, and even though I was balanced around some people who did, you know, because I have a wide range of people that I'm around, I noticed that I was spending more time when I looked at my logs and my journals, I noticed that I was spending more time with the people who had unhealthy balance and unhealthy lifestyles and living, um, um, living habits. So, um, for me is to be mindful and cut back the time, um, and repurpose that time to, um, either tending more to, um, the things that I need to do. Um, because sometimes we go into that direction because we get fearful about the tasks that are at hand. Um, because we're frustrated and you don't know where to go. And not only that, spend more time with the individuals that, um, are having healthy, um, are having healthy living habits. Not only that, just go to places that have more healthy um, living um, attributes. You know, I have a gym membership. Um, some of my friends, some of the friends that I meet, you know, all my friends don't want to go to the gym and they don't spend time in the gym. But I have gym friends, you know, who they already have a desire to exercise and to work out. And they understand that importance. And we bond over that. And we have meetings over that. So, um Yes, it always happens with the person. Be careful who you're around. Um, be careful what you're guiding yourself into. Um, now is the time more than ever um, to be careful of that. Another thing I noticed is that, I'm going to tell y'all this. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all, oh, okay. Y'all know that whole scene. But even though some of the trials and the obstacles that I'm facing right now, a lot of things have been coming very swiftly for me and very great for me. And um, some of these people who rejected me before, like I stated earlier in a couple of years ago, you know, I couldn't even get contact with them. They were kind of pushing me off to the side. Now these people are trying to leech on and to latch on to me. Um, but I do remember the process that I went through. And because of that, you know, if it was really meant to be, it would have happened during that time. Doesn't mean that I didn't need growth because I definitely needed to have growth. Um, but those people didn't see the potential in me, you know. So you don't give those same people the same access. And it has nothing to do with getting back at people. It's just understanding who you are and what you stand for. And being around people who respect who you are now, you know. Respect the potential that you have. Respect what you have to offer and what you have to give. You know, that's what you want to be, you know, be a part of. You don't want to be around people who um, didn't really expect high expectations of you um, or who thought, you know, you were less than and things like that. And don't, like I said, do not take it personal. You know, it was it was for my growth. I'm so grateful for the opportunity that I did go through, the things that I went through, because I wouldn't have this opportunity. I wouldn't be in this arena. I wouldn't see the things that I see now. And it showed me who I really am as a person, the characteristics of me, you know, like the, the true nature of me, you know, um, that was something that I definitely needed to know, especially when you're around people who are projecting their IDs on you constantly, you don't understand. And some of the people were telling me who, you know, what they saw of me and some of it was true, but if you're clouded and you're constantly clouded around people who are telling you something different, you don't understand it. Um, so yeah, be careful about who you're around, who you're surrounding yourself with. And um yeah, I hope I hope that everyone who comes across this 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 channel um have um great opportunities. I know that for certain because I know God just didn't have me to come on here and start sharing my life for no apparent reason, you know, um and giving people that open space and that access to me because I'm very much a private person. Um, very private. Um, 
But I hope and I pray that um, this impacts your life to do better and to not only that, but to manifest and to help other people that are going through some of the situations that um, I and you are, you know, going through. You know, it's not just for me to say, hey, this is what I'm going through and this is how God is going to bless me. It's always for other people. It's always a legacy to for other people to hear and say, well, if this happened to this person and this is, you know, what I'm going through, then I can do it, too. I can make it, too. It's not, you know, um, it's not a, a one size, you know, um, thing. Only one person can make it or only one person um, can persevere. We want to take that mindset out. Um so, yeah, I'm going to get off of here because i got some paperwork to do. Hopefully something I said or done will help you on your journey. Please stay tuned to Journey to Jerusalem, and thank you so very much. Bye.